Hey all, it's Abby, and I'm just gonna get to the point. Today is a Pop Mart thrift haul. I found some good deals, mainly on Mercari, some at random thrift stores, and I think we should just look through them together. So, let's dive in. Let's start with this cutie. I brought the old turntable out. Let's see how it works today. It's known to be a little bit wobbly. So this one I picked up because it was on my friend's wish list. It is a very cute figure and my turntable's kind of loud. So obviously it is a drink, looks like cola, Coca-Cola, but it's bean cola. I don't know how that would taste, but obviously very cute. And I got a bundle of sweet beans. So let's, let's take a peek. Here's the next one. Spin, spin, spin. I think this one's adorable. I'm keeping this one for myself. It is strawberry milk. It's from the supermarket set. I think there are two sweet bean supermarket sets too, so I always get confused, but it's this one. So this one is technically a double because I opened it in a blind box, but I did break the hand off and I haven't fixed it yet. I think it's fixable, but um, I have a backup if it's not. Again, it was cheaper to buy them as a bundle than separately, so. This one's a cutie. It's obviously based on Koala March. It's a sweet bean one. I think it's a supermarket series as well. And the body's the packaging. It says bean cookie. And I just love the shading on the hat. This one probably could use a little bit of a cleanup. It came a little bit smudged and, ugh, I hate saying it, but sticky. So this one's definitely getting a bath, but um, it otherwise it seems like it's in good shape. So nothing a little cleaning can't fix. Now this one loves falling over, so we'll see how long it lasts. But I think it's, ah, see, I told you. It's a little pepper with like, it's kind of the iconic trademark sweet bean diaper style. Pretty simple, and then it comes with a little pot to go on its head. Here's another drink one, and yes, I know my turntable's very loud. Oh my goodness, this one might not want to stand up either. Are you centered? I don't think it is. There we go, stay. But this is a bottle drink sweet bean. It's a grape soda, I believe. And look at this, the hat comes off. Isn't that cute? Oh, but now it's gonna wobble or fall over. But I think that's a really cute design. The drink designs are one of my favorites and my friend collects them, so this one might be going to my friend, I can't remember. Those are all the sweet beans I got next. And I think this is my favorite. Well, there's another one that I wanna call my favorite, but I haven't seen it yet, so. Currently, this is my favorite. It's Daku from, whoa. <laughs> I think it's Daku in the Kitchen series. Stay. I think that's what it was called. And I think it's kind of rare right now. I'm, I assume it's discontinued, or I don't know, maybe it's just out of stock, but um, there are a lot of cute Dekus in this set. So if you're looking for like older figures, definitely search this set. I'm kind of trying to collect them, but they're very pricey on the secondhand market. So this one I got pretty cheap. The next one must've been someone's double because the plate came in the packaging. You guys guess what it is? Ta-da! It's Pancake Daku! How cute is this one? I love it. So this is also from Daku in the Kitchen. I think, I think that's the set name. And oh, uh, he's looking a little bit dusty, so we might give him a little bit of a cleaning. But this was another one that I got pretty cheap. Um, there are a few out there from the set that aren't super popular that you can probably pick up if you're gonna try to collect the full set, but like the ketchup bottle, the mustard bottle, they are super rare and super expensive. So my hunt for food dakus continues. And that brings us to this daku, an unopened one, because there are a few blind boxes that I thought kind of fit in with the theme and I haven't really been opening my random pop marts recently, so I thought we could open a few today. Like I said, or did I say it? I don't know. I'm a huge fan of Daku. You guys know I love Donald Duck, and I feel like if you've been here any amount of time, you'll know that. But um, Daku is also a cutie and on my favorite ducks list. Daku has a few sets. The last one to come out was like the end of last year, I think. And it was like a music themed one. I think it's music festival. And then there's a sports one. And there's a few that I don't even really know about because they were they came out before like my time. But um, 
I just really like the food theme Deku. There's like a few in here that I like, but I'm just really hoping they do another food theme soon. But um, I really would like the bowling pin Deku. That's not gonna lie, probably the only one I want from this set. But I do have a friend that um, likes Deku and a few from this set, so it'll probably get passed on if it's not bowling pin Deku, but we're taking our chances. I had to add a few blind boxes in because the thrifted ones, I know all about them and I need a little bit of like the element of surprise in my life. Here it is. Um, I'm gonna guess this is not bowling pin Deku unless the head is like separate. Oh, I think it's football Deku. Okay, this one's actually cute. Why does he look like he's holding a baguette or like a piece of bread that he took a bite out of? Okay, this one's cute. I like this one. I will keep this Deku. Ja it's Deku Ball Club. American football. I guess that's supposed to be a football. The shape's kind of weird though. Deku, 52. I wonder what the 52 stands for. Is there a famous American football player with the number 52? I would not know. I would not even be able to guess. I believe this set is still being sold online. Well, I saw it at the store because I got this at the Harajuku Pop Mart store. So if you like any of these designs, I think you can still get your hands on them pretty easily. One day bowling pin Deku will be mine. Our next contestant is Azura. And this is, I'm gonna assume from the wardrobe set. I love the colors. You guys already know. The colors are very me. Pastel rainbow, purple hair, and you probably saw my previous Pop Mart video where I opened a full set of the newest Azura figures. I'm in love with her. She's adorable. Look at the little flowers on the back of her head. I didn't even notice that. Her little pumpkin shorts, her purple booties with the butterflies. She's adorable. Hold on. You can't really see her face. Look at her eyes. She's so pretty. Um, I didn't really get a big discount on this one, but... I'm slowly expanding my Azura collection. She came with some tiny, tiny goodies, which I will leave in here for now because I'm gonna lose them, but she came with a little kitty and a basket of flowers. It's really cute. Here is the other Azura that I got. This is from, oh goodness, I already forgot what series, but um, she has a little laser gun. She has little alien vibes going on, little cute dress and a cape. She, um, it's from the same set as this one. Can I stand them back to back? Can we get something cool going here? I think I'm zoomed in a little too much. How's that? Look at them, aren't they cute? So these are the only two that I have from this set. I might get more. I think this was a set that had a lot of orange ones though. So part of me is like, if I'm not getting the full set, I just kind of want the ones that I like. And I think that's okay too. But I also really like opening the line boxes, so... Anyway, these are the ones from my wardrobe set. I showed you guys when I, um, opened the springtime ones, but now I have three. There's a cute pink one that I really want. It's such a cute set. I love Azura. She has her little tear, little sad eye. And can you guys tell I really like purple? I have a bunch of puckies in body bags. This was a big bundle that I found online. This bundle is fairly cheap. I'll try to remember how much it was, but here's the first one. They came with their cards, so let me see. I can probably tell you which set this came from. This is from the Winter Baby set. I don't think I've ever opened any of these. This is Fox Baby. And I thought it was cute because, I mean, dressed in all black. It's very me also. Like this is my alter ego and this is me. <laughs> But I really like foxes too, so I thought this one was cute. Winter Babies. Here's another Winter Babies figure. It's called Dolly. Oh, because they're holding a little doll. This one's cute. I think the Pucky figures are quite popular here. But that also means that a lot of them do end up on secondhand sites. So, I don't know. Maybe there's just like a particular theme that people really like. Or they just get a lot of doubles. I don't know. And then the rest of them are actually Disney themed. I don't know when this set came out. I haven't really done my research. Oh, it's missing something. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be holding. I'll, I'll have to check, but I think this one was missing something from the start. Here's this one. Mickey. Silly Symphonies, right? Here we have Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey. I like this one. I think it's really cute. 
Looks like they could use a little bit of a dusting too. And then we have Steam Boat Willy Pucky. Ooh, there's a hair on it. Hair be gone. So this one's black and white. So the main reason I got this one was because I wanted this one. Little Donald. And I was having a hard time finding just Donald for a decent price. Like all the listings with just Donald or Donald and Daisy were marked up a lot, but this bundle came with what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it wasn't bad at all. So I thought, why not? I guess I kind of want Daisy so Donald and Daisy can be together, but look at the texturing, like the feathers. So good. But yeah, as an avid Donald lover, I felt like I had to add this one to my collection. I lied. I think I found the little piece that goes in its hand. I don't know what that is though. Hmm. We're actually getting close to the end, so let's open an unboxed one. This is the Romantic Ring Box. I got Demu last time. I really, really want Yoki. Yoki was one that I almost thrifted, but I remembered I still had this, so I was like, you know what, I should open it first before I buy any others. The lineup's adorable. I wouldn't mind having the Instinct Toy one either. Yoki, Instinct Toy, even La Boo Boo's adorable. Or the Secret one. Maybe we get Secret one? Oh no, I see the card. Let's turn it. Oh, it's purple. What does that mean? Hmm. Oh, oh, it's the Pucky one. Cute. Oh my goodness. I love the colors. I guess we have a Pucky theme going on here today. And here's the little ring. Oh, so I didn't get Yoki, but I'm happy with this one. It's much cuter than I expected. I saw on Twitter or Instagram, I forget where I saw it, but someone proposed to their partner with one of these. I thought that was adorable. Romantic ring box. Two. A gift for you. Pucky. Cute. This set is adorable. Here's another thrifted one. This one actually came in its box. So that's exciting. I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think it's unopened. I know what this is because I specifically ordered this or, well, purchased it from a seller. But, um, that's cool that it's unopened because you know it's clean, I guess. It's lucky. And one of you told me if you pull his head up, teeth inside <laughs> and I just really like this one because it's you know mucky it's like all spiky and a bear giving a little kitty some milk I just really liked that and I think it was fairly cheap so thought why not I just noticed there's a face on mucky's butt and also you guys know I can't resist a rainbow how good is that to go with that, why don't we unbox a Fluffy? This came out a few months ago, and I've had it in my Pop Mart box forever. I did open one when they first came out. I think I got Flowey, because I remember there were two pieces. I really want Dreaming Time, Cupid, Devil, and Let's Dance. This was also one that I debated buying a full set, but decided against, because the Instinct Toy ones are a little bit pricey but they're so good. The quality is very, very nice. Oh, it's orange. Sorry, that's not a U, it's orange, it's a O. <laughs> oh, oh, there's something inside. Whoa. This gives me like George Sanderson vibes. The orange they use is really pretty. I think it's like whatever gold flakes are inside. Like glitter, maybe? Makes it look really pretty. Okay, you know what? This design's pretty cool with all the horns. I'm not mad. I have one more fluffy blind box to open. We'll open it and maybe a magical blind box soon. Don't let me forget. It's called Flames! Last but not least, and this breaks one of the rules I have for when I thrift, I try not to buy something over the retail price because well, one, I don't like to support resellers, and two, it, I don't know, it just feels like it defeats the purpose of thrifting. Unless it's something you really, really want and, you know, you can't get, and etc, etc. But, 
you know, you have to draw the line somewhere, and that's where I draw it for myself. That being said, I paid a little bit extra for this guy. So this is the 10th anniversary set, and I didn't even know this set existed, but my friend sent me a picture of this Kenneth, and I was like, I need to find this. Look at him. He's holding a little Kenneth plushie. According to this card, this came out in 2020, so they're probably having their 13th anniversary this year. Wow, Pop Mart's been around for a really long time. I didn't, I mean, I knew this was the 10th anniversary set, but I didn't do the math. How cute is he? So my friend and I, we both got a Kenneth because we collect Kenneths together. We call them friendship Kenneths, so we have our cute Kenneths on display and they remind us of each other. Here they are all lined up, some that I unboxed today, but mainly ones that I thrifted. I think I got a pretty good haul. Let me know in the comments down below which are your favorites. Um, obviously, my favorites are front and center. Little cuties, Kenneth, my Dakus. Then over here, we have my Muckies and my Azuras. On this side, we have my Puckies. And then behind in the middle, we have some Sweet Beans. I hope you all enjoyed seeing my little thrift haul. This was just a little rambly video. And I will have more blind box unboxings next time. I'll see you then.